Hey, class. So we're talking about uh, this week about uh, fixing these old photographs and also colorizing them. Uh, I actually was a film colorist uh, back in the 80s, um, and we colorized um, Casablanca. We did it frame by frame. It's pretty interesting. Uh, but anyway, first I would first thing, we don't need this thing to be 600 DPI. Personally, I would resample it, make it 72, and then check the resample. And then I'm going to make this width uh, a little more doable for, you know, what we're doing here. Double-click magnifying glass. Uh, let me see, is that still, uh, I think I'm going to make it a little smaller. Image size, let's, miss, let's make this 800. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So a couple of things. I wanted to talk about colorization because there was a question uh, in the class about uh, well, how much to colorize and um, a couple of things we can do here. Um, but, you know, uh, well, the first thing I usually do is I duplicate the background layer. Just so in case I mess up, I have uh, a copy. All right. I'm using my mouse, which isn't really recommended. Uh, I prefer a, a, a stylus, but I don't have it hooked up. I may have to hook it up if this gets too kludgy. You know, but you know the the healing brush comes in handy. A lot of times you can you can use that. Um, the other thing is, and you know, uh, here's another thing people don't do a lot of. Uh, they don't uh, come in uh, close enough sometimes, and then work with a smaller, say a smaller brush. You know, you can actually get in here and do this. It's time consuming. I know. Uh, you know, I can use hold down the space bar to. Uh, get in here and um, see something like that. I can, you know, you have multiple undos. It's, it's uh, Apple Z or Apple Option Z. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, the other thing too is um, this clone stamp tool. Take the shape down and uh, I can option click and then I can, I can cover that up as well. Now your opacity, you know, if I want 100% opacity, if I just want to nuke it there, uh, that'd be a way to do it. I can option click and then come down. I can keep that fold going. Um, sometimes it's as easy as option clicking above and you get to a certain point and then you have to kind of option click. But, you know, and then zooming out, I'm just Apple eye. Um, but you can see that I could spend, you know, I, I could spend some time doing that, right? This healing brush is fairly new. wasn't around for a while. Uh, obviously, the problem with the healing brush is going to be um, if things get too murky, too hazy. Uh, you don't want copy and paste syndrome. You don't want to have a bunch of repeated shapes going in here. But, you know, it works pretty well um, for stuff like that. And then, of course, if I need to do this, I could just zoom in on it, right? Very meticulously. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's all about the craft, right? Double-clicking... The magnifying glass shows me, um, you know, uh, actual pixels. Now, um, <clears throat> the other thing I might want to do when I'm working on this is, uh, again, I can create multiple layers if I don't want to mess something up. I'm just going to hit levels here. And a lot of times I'll just hit auto and see what happens. And you can see there, you know, if we do Apple Z, you can see that it deepened. Uh, the darks a little bit, uh, maybe almost too much because you notice that we lose a little bit of that information up in there. So actually, I'm going to undo that. I don't want to do the levels right now. Um, okay, colorization. Uh, there's a couple of ways that we could approach this. Okay, um, and again, this is a. I'm already at four minutes on this tutorial. I don't want this to be like an hour long tutorial or something. But I will give you some advice. I mean, uh, I could colorize this whole photo so it's not black and white anymore, and then I could start selecting things. This little magic wand is going to come in handy for selecting things. And, you know, you can adjust the tolerance. If I'm selecting too much of a certain value, I can take that tolerance down to 15. I can deselect, and I can start shift-clicking through, you know, um, if I want to get certain areas, like with this door, I don't know. Uh, sometimes the magic wand, it's by the time you try to get it to work, it's going to end up being more work than it's worth. But sometimes it just absolutely nails an area, you know. So keep that in mind. What I do, and again, I wish I had my pen, is uh, I tend to use um, a combination. 
Okay, so uh, let's say we're gonna do mm, this guy's face, okay, uh, which I'll do in a minute. But first, before I do that, before I start getting into individual selections, let's just take this thing and do Control U and bring up Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. It's possible that we could colorize this and get kind of more of a, uh, instead of it just being black and white, we could get a little bit more warmth in there uh, and it would probably might eliminate us having to colorize everything. So here I've got like a little bit of a tan door, the tan jacket, you know, and if you go back here and do it undo, maybe that's, be that's better, maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, I, I think I kind of like it like that. Now, <clears throat> Um, let's say we're going to do the face. People were asking, do we have to colorize the whole uh, thing? And I'd say, yeah, I mean, we've got two assignments, um, you know, uh, this week. And so you have a lot of time to work on it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, so imagine that I, and I'm going to do this pretty fast, but imagine I was going to spend, you know, five hours on this or something. I mean, you know, you got to put the time in sometimes. Uh, I've spent hours on a uh, on an individual graphic and I'm just gonna go through here and I'm gonna click I can zoom in I can zoom out uh, I am gonna do this pretty fast because I'm doing a tutorial but you'll see that um, it's kinda hard to talk and do this at the same time there you know I can also use I'm using this magnetic well, I'm using the uh, polygonal lasso. I can also use the lasso tool, okay? Now, um, again, I could copy this down if I wanted to keep my other layer, you know, pristine. I'm not going to. I like to hide the selection, Control-H, so I don't see it. And this is where I can bring up Control-U, and I don't have to colorize that again. I can just start playing with the colors, okay? Like, how do you get a flesh tone? Um, that actually doesn't look too bad. I wish I could have zoomed out a little bit. Let me say, okay, it's still selected, right? Control H, see how I'm turning that off and on. I'm going to back, whoops, I didn't want to invert it. Um, I'm going to back out a little bit. Actually, I don't mind that except I've got an outline around it and that is because I did that. Okay, so now I think that looks pretty good for flesh. Uh, I probably should have Eh, I was going to say, uh, I probably could have noted down exactly what color that was, you know? Sometimes, okay, like, see how I'm using the magic wand there? I'm only at 15 tolerance, which isn't very much. I can switch over to my lasso tool and hold down my shift key, which is always add. And if I hold down my option key, it's going to be subtract. So look, I can come in here and pretty fast... I can get the hand in there, right? And now watch. I am just going to free hand in. I'm going to go. I'm going to try to do it again. Drawing. We used to say drawing with a mouse is like drawing with a brick. Hide. Hue saturation. I forget which way I went. I think it was there. I'm going to try to match that. Hold on. My cat just jumped up here and knocked over a bunch of stuff. Come here. Okay, doesn't look too bad, kind of pinky. If it's too pink, desaturate it, All right? Like he looks a little bit magenta-y, right? You can save selections. I've gone to all that problem of, uh, all that trouble of uh, doing those selections and you can save selections and then you can load it in and you can name them. If I was smart, I'd be doing that. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's see. It, it might be good if I was going to do this. Again, I'm at nine minutes already, right? So I don't want to uh, over, over, overdo this. But one thing I can do, let me just show you safe selection. Let's say I went in here and I selected the figure. The whole figure. Whoops, getting a little bit wild there, right? really good you can see drawing with a mouse drawing with a mouse is ridiculous uh, but look I'm gonna s subtract from that selection 
Same tool, just holding down my Alt key. Okay. All right. So let's save that selection. Let's say I want to save. Um, for some reason, I want to I want to save that figure, right? And actually, let's add this guy. Let's put him in a hoodie. All right. Let's add this guy because what I want to do is I want to separate the figures from the background. All right. Just in case. I don't know. All right. Let's save that selection. All right. We're going to call that. We're, uh, we're going to call it. Um, oh, it's a BMP file still. Okay. I want to do that. Background copy mask. I'd have to think about this. Whether I want it in a new channel or a new background copy mask. We're going to call this figures. Okay. Now, let me deselect. And now let me go, oh, wait, I want to load that selection. So I'm going to load selection um, channel figures. Okay. And there's my selection. Now, here's, here's why I wanted to select those figures. It's because I can select the background now. Watch. I'm going to select inverse. So I'm going to select inverse and that means all the background is selected. So I can, let me hide that selection. If I wanted to come up now and I wanted to change the background hue to be maybe a little bit more green, you know, vintage or something, I could do that. Right. Uh, okay. I think maybe what some people were asking me is, can we just leave the background kind of like this? instead of doing all these details. I don't know. Um, I think, I mean, it depends on how motivated you are. Uh, it's kind of like a puzzle, you know? I mean, to me, once I figure out how to do it and I'm not all perplexed by it, and it's just a matter of craft, then it's kind of a challenge. And I, I kind of want to see, like, for example, I'll look for a little, maybe I'll start with the, the easiest things, like see that little hardware thing? Okay, I'm going to deselect that and I'm going to desaturate it to make it look a little more metallic. I don't know if that's successful or not. I have to keep going. I can do the hinges. Um, let's say let's say this little brass fitting, which, you know, could I use the um, magic wand on that guy? And then switch over and anything that didn't get picked up, I am going to use my little guy there. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, hide the selection. What if I deselect, des I guess I'm looking for more of a metallic. See how I desaturated that? Maybe it should be more brass, but anyway, I'm desaturating the metal. Now, I haven't done this guy yet. Uh, I haven't done his jacket. You know, this looks like a bomber jacket. Um, and let me see something. Um, Select, let me load that selection again. And then hold down my Alt key and just deselect his head. Okay. And deselect his pants and his hands. And deselect this guy. Okay. Now, I've got his jacket. Hide that selection. Control U. Now, I'm going to see what happens if I deselect it. Because it kind of reminds me of a black and white um, bomber jacket. Now, I can also play with the colors, though. If I want to make it... Um, I think I remember having a blue one like that. And that's kind of a blue. Right? Uh, you can see I've got some things I'd, I'd need to touch up there. Um... And I don't notice them as much when it's in a different color. So strategically, if I don't have a whole lot of time, you know, to work on this, uh, I am going to uh, want to look at those things. Now, darkness, I would rarely use. I'd rather use levels. But in this case, I actually don't mind it. Right. OK, now I'm at 14 minutes here. I don't want to overdo this, but let me load that selection again. <clears throat> Well, I don't know. I just want to do his pants. Nah. 
There's no way to get out of the work. Let me do it real quick though. Again, I can do one pass and then I can add to that selection, clean it up a little bit. I've even in the past zoomed in. Let me hide that. I don't know, I was kind of thinking khakis. Uh, I'd probably desaturate it. I might lighten it up a little bit, not too much. I would rather use myself levels. Mm. Trying to get khaki. I don't know if I will get khaki. Maybe he's wearing those blue dockers. I don't know. Definitely not green, right? Definitely not blue. Maybe something like that. It's almost desat. Here, this is going to give me a little bit better saturation, right? Um, actually, maybe I'll give him some blue pants. I don't know. Now, look, while that's still selected, see it's still selected? I'm going to do Control L because I work with levels and hue saturation all the time. I might brighten it up a little bit. I might, you know, you can see here, actually if I hit auto, hmm, interesting. Uh, here I'm gonna brighten it up. Here's my midtones, right? I'm gonna bring the darks in just a little bit. It's looking good. Now see, this is already looking okay. Um, you, so there might be some details in here that um, I'm looking at red eye reduction. I wonder if red eye reduction would work here. Let me deselect. I want to darken his eyes. Okay. Uh, let me see if that helps at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, the other thing I was going to look at, uh, if we zoom in and use the move tool to zoom around, you know, there's um, also dodge and burn. Now, those of you that were never in chemical dark rooms, which is probably most of you, um, Wow, you're missing out. I used to teach chemical uh, photography. And so you could actually dodge and burn. You could burn in things. Like, for example, I could burn in his eyebrows. Okay. And I could and I can burn in the midtones. I could burn in the shadows. Okay. That might be a little dark. <laughs> He's going to have some gnarly eyebrows. Yeah, I don't think I like that. But... Um, you know, judiciously um, dodging and burning. Um, let's see. So does that give you some ideas as far as strategically, you know, people are like, do we have to do everything in the background? Well, pick things that might be easier to achieve. Like I was going to do the door, but that's going to take a little while. But maybe I can just very carefully select that background, hide it, control U, play a little bit with, you know, I like to, I guess I could pick a color by saturating it and then picking a color that that might be painted. Old timey, I don't know. And then desaturating it. I can desaturate it all the way if I want. I can saturate it up a little bit. I can bring it down. I, I don't even know if I like that. You know, I can discard it if I want. I would try to isolate the door from the background. I would go in with some of these frames, you know, pick some of these frames, maybe see what you could do. As you see, I've already done the metal parts. I haven't even looked at this guy yet. Um, everything's kind of brown, you know, so if I'm thinking strategically, um, you know, maybe I will want to look at something like his pants, right, and see what happens when I start doing stuff like that. You can see that, you know, and, and what about his jacket? His jacket has that pink tint to it, right? Uh, 
of control. Hide. Saturation. Look at that. I just took the tint off. Pull up levels. Pop it up a little bit. Brighten it up. Beautiful. It's already starting to come together. Imagine now that we're... Um, <clears throat> that we fixed... Got to deselect and those selections are on. Imagine now that we fixed a lot of this stuff in here. Okay. We'll just do it real quick. Get rid of those scratches. Get rid of the scratches. Get rid of the scratches. Oh, now, oops, you can see sometimes the healing brush doesn't work. Look at these bottles down here. Again, the more you spend time on this, I really think that these cans down here are an opportunity for some kind of adjustment. I probably should have picked the labels. Eh, I don't know. I don't like that at all. I don't think I like that at all. Uh, I would, um, I'd have to zoom in on those. Whoa, hello. I'd, I'd want to zoom in on those and um, it might be as simple as Selecting them like this, hiding, let's desaturate it, and then let's pull up levels, pop that thing up like this, and then look and see what happens. You see how I could go in and do something like that? Uh, let me um, fix this, fix this. Obviously, you guys would spend way more time fixing this stuff, but I just want to see as we start looking around what can be colorized. I think a, there's a real opportunity to colorize this entire side so you get more volume in the room. I am not sure exactly, you know, not knowing the paint and everything. Um, I don't think I like that. Maybe more saturated. I don't know about really a different color. I don't want it to be too green. There's a little bit of red. Eh, I'm not too happy, you know, with that. Uh, let me pull up levels. Let me pop it a little bit. Boy, that, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm just not sure about that. Hmm. I think... Um, I think hardware. Let me try that. Let me bump the saturation up a little bit. All, I, all I'm doing is bumping the saturation up a little bit. Look at that. I've got brass. I've got brass hardware there. This might be nice brass too, you know. Um, you know, the last thing, I keep coming back to this door. Let me do the door real quick. I know I'm at 23 minutes. It's, um, it's really unacceptable to have tutorials go on this long, but what are you going to do? Let me just do this and this and this and this real quick. Because it seems like one thing I could do is make that look like it's fresher paint. Okay. Have to be careful. Not too much. And then um, can I change the hue a little bit? I don't like the red. I don't like the green. I don't like the blue. No, I don't. I'm going to cancel that. I do kind of like the fresh paint coming out. I think the next thing I would do is, um, boy, see, you just can't stop me. Sorry about that. Uh, let me see. Would, um, let me select his hair. Okay. Select that hair. And let's just darken it a little bit. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Look at that. Really helps, doesn't it? Look for eyes. Make sure there's no red eyes. Um, you know, um, sometimes a little bit, a little darkness on the eye. I don't know. Dodge, burn, play with this here. And if you've gotten to a point where you've done a lot of work and you don't want to mess it up, 
dupe that background copy and work on this one. Okay. Um, and just keep going. So yeah, I, you know, the next thing that caught my eye was up here. I'm going to want to, I'm going to want to brighten that up, make it look a little bit, you know, newer. Watch this. Make it look like a little more lights coming through there. Boom. Now, <clears throat> here's what I'll do in the last thing. Let's do a file revert. Okay. This is what we started with. This is what we ended up with. Just in 20 minutes. Okay. So big change. Um, it's looking better and better. I had fun. I'm going to shoot this off to you and see what you guys think.